Greetings and welcome everyone. My name is Lokita Maka. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Um, so today or in this video, I want us to talk about colleges that you can apply for in order to study agriculture in south africa so i'm not going to talk about universities i'm not going to talk about um university of technologies but just um a list of technologies that you can apply uh, colleges i mean that you can apply for um this uh video was um actually uh, motivated by one of the subscribers she asked me to actually talk about requirements of um the, the the entry requirements for agriculture basically so then i thought okay yes i'm gonna talk about that but also let us also look at where you can study agriculture and a reason why you should study agriculture because basically that's um one of the things somebody is asking okay why do i have to study agriculture anyway okay you've got plenty of reasons to study agriculture as much as it can be confusing what to actually focus on in agriculture because agriculture is broad and one of the things guys we need to understand especially with learners one guys agriculture is a science so you need to get in there with that mentality that it's science so that you can enjoy it so that you can love it whether you have you aspire to be in the training and development in agriculture or in production or even in processing so you need to get with the mindset that it is a science and um, you can end up in the lab analyzing things you can end up doing research you don't have to um end up in production where you work on the farm 24 7 or eight hours a day or 16 hours a day i don't know how many hours you would have to work for um depending on what you do but you can end up actually working 24 hours on your research um staying in at the labs um trying there to solve issues and those are issues that need to be solved by you now as a young person who is out there who wants to solve problems because guys truth is the population is increasing and therefore we need quality food we need nutritious food now we need people on the ground who are going to produce that quality food that food that is enough to serve this um, increasing population so we need people on the ground. So now you need to sit down and think, okay, what is it that I like in agriculture? Do I like the plant side or do I like the animal side? Do I like genetics? Do I like economics? So I think about it from grade 10 to grade 12. By now you may um, basically know the interesting uh, topics that um, the topics that are interesting to you and you can make those decisions when you are applying because now we are preparing for applications the institutions have opened so now it's the time it's the right time to apply and actually be sure of what you want and one thing that i always encourage people to do if you get into agriculture if you think about getting into agriculture get into agriculture with the spirit of entrepreneurship whether it's in training or development or whether it's in production or even post-production think about the business side of agriculture how are you going to use this um, sector to reduce unemployment in south africa how are you going to play your part in ensuring that you hire someone else so those are the things that we need to think about so without wasting time let's get to it so i had to write them down so that i don't forget any and if by any chance i do forget some of the colleges please let me know so the first one um 
uh, that you can apply for it's uh Siddhartha agricultural college so this is based in kzn it's in Howick. so if you love kzn if you want to be in kzn then this is the college for you then we've got elsenbeck um college it's agricultural training institute as well it's based in western cape then we've got four Fort Cox College. Fort Cox is based in um, the Eastern Cape. Then um, we've got Glen College of Agriculture. This is based in Free State. Then we've got Kroonfortein um, Agri um, Development Institute. So this college is based in the Eastern Cape um, in, in Middleback. I think yes it's in middle back so please do correct me if I make a mistake there but I think it's in middle back in the Eastern Cape then we've got um, Matibandila which is um, in Limpopo province so based in Venda if I'm not mistaken then we've got Owen Sitole which is also based in KZN then we've got Pochestrom College of Agriculture which is based in Northwest then Dawun College which is based in Northwest as well and we also have Dompisileka um, College of Agriculture which is based in Limpopo I hope I pronounced that correctly and then we've got Tolo Agricultural and Rural Development College. So this is also based in Eastern Cape um, in Tolo area. So those are the colleges that you can apply for. And now in terms of requirements, in terms of requirements, obviously the, the requirements will differ depending on what you do. Uh, most colleges they offer um, starting from diploma but now if you also want to do um, up to your master's levels and your PhD then you would need to actually move to the university uh, but with entry level depending on um, the requirements on that particular diploma or degree but what i can um, advise you make sure you aim for a level four in mathematics or level five and six in uh, maths lit right then physical sciences if you have but if not maybe your agricultural um, sciences but with agricultural sciences especially if you're doing agricultural sciences guys one thing that i always say if you are in agric sciences especially if you're also doing life sciences make sure at least with your agric sciences you get a level six a code six or code five code five upwards then you'll be um, increasing your chances in getting into university then in terms of languages guys Languages are really important, especially with um, the point system or the scores, the point scores, uh, the APS. So you need to pass your languages very well. You need to pass your languages very well. So your home language and your first additional language, make sure at least get code five, code four. Don't get less than code, uh, code 4. Try by all means to aim for a code 5 on both of them. At least that will um, give you good results at the end of the year. Then LO as well guys, make sure you get a distinction. <laughs> Okay, I'm joking. Um, usually, LO doesn't count when it comes to the scores, but just because it doesn't count for you getting into university doesn't mean that it's important. It's not important. It's very important because when I look at your results and I realize that you have passed everything, but you didn't pass LO, and I start questioning, I'm like, okay, why? so you need to make sure guys that you put effort go out there do extra extra activities that will make sure that will ensure you that you pass that will help you get those good results then um 
as much as i said i don't want to i'm not going to talk about universities but um there are various universities that you can study agriculture at um, for instance in the eastern cape we've got a forte university we've got um, nelson mandela university um, then western cape Cape Peninsula University of Technology, Stellenbosch offers um, agriculture as well. Um, what else? What else? What else? Which other university that I can think of right now? Then Free State, we've got University of Free State. Um, and then we've got Gauteng, we've got University of Pretoria, we've got um, Tswane University of Technology as well. They, they also offer um, agriculture. Then in the Northern K in, in Northwest, Northwest University offers agriculture. Um, but yeah, um, KZN as well, UKZN offers um, uh, agriculture. Mangosutu University of Technology offer, also offers agriculture. So it's up to you. One you need to decide what exactly do you want to do in agriculture and after that after you have decided what exactly do you want to do then if you are sure of the field then do your research okay where can i do this degree this diploma and also what are the chances out there for me to get practical activities practical skills and reason i i i i, I was talking or i started with colleges is because they offer vast skills um practical skills rather than universities because with um with colleges of agriculture 50% of what you will be doing there is practical and now as a as an employer if someone from the university versus someone from the college a greek college who has been doing work with his hands comes to me personally i would choose the person from the college because they know that what they are doing not because the one from the university doesn't know but the one from college has got a more practical um, experience than the one from the university who has more theory but now it doesn't mean that one is better than the other no but in terms of um, practical skills colleges offer more practical skills than the universities um, but again even with the universities it also depends on which um, degree you are doing because some of the degrees have more practicals than theory so yeah you need to do your own research you need to decide what exactly that you want to do what exactly do you love and if you choose this degree will you be able to start a business from this will you be able to create jobs for other people because that is what i advocate for people need to get out there and start creating employment for other people one person at a time have a vision and it doesn't have to start here it doesn't have to start now but if you have a vision that okay 10 years from now in 20 years from now i can use the skill to employ other people i can use the skill to contribute to unemployment to the reduction of unemployment then you'll be doing something with your degree but don't get in there with that mentality that I am studying this because it's it's a scar skill. No, it's not a scar skill anymore. Okay, I'm joking. Don't take that into consideration anyway. <laughs> um, but I'm not joking. It's not a scar skill anymore. And that is my opinion. 
the reason I'm saying it's not a scar skill anymore because there are a lot of people who are involved in agriculture there are a lot of people who are educated in agriculture and whether it's formal education or informal education but now these skills are used differently so don't get in with that mentality that okay i'm gonna get a job if i finish the degree um i'm gonna get employed immediately get in with that mentality that immediately i get my certificate or towards the finish line then i'm gonna start my company and employ other people we need those kind of people we need that kind of mentality or you're gonna get into research do more contribute more to the body of knowledge then those are the people that we need don't tell yourself that you're gonna get in there because you have hope that the government is gonna employ you now this is my two cents but get in there with what you can offer to this country then if you do that then i think we will all be in a better space we'll all be trying to achieve one thing trying to make south africa a better place for all trying to cultivate food that is nutritious for all trying to cultivate food that is sustainable trying to grow food that is um enough adequate for all of us now those are the people that we want so now with these guys um do go and do your own research check each institution what is needed when can you apply are they open um are there bursaries i think um i also need to talk about bursaries but i do have um a video on bursaries in agriculture that you can check out um and then you can check those institutions if they are open for this year because that is a that is a video i did last year so you can now check if they are available when are they opening then you can start applying start applying for the 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 school and then apply for bursaries simultaneously and then apply for nsfas as well um just in case you don't get the bursary but try to secure your space with nf nsfas that if you qualify but let's go out there guys let's try to study anyway thank you so much for joining me please do let me know what um i should talk about next uh but for now we'll be continuing with our grade 12 series in agriculture we're still on agricultural reproduction i think the next topic should be um pregnancy and fertilization i think i don't know uh but we'll get there um we're gonna discuss it but if there's anything else that um is outside the lesson that is outside the syllabus of grade 12 or grade 11 um please do let me know then i will see um if i can be able to do it i do my research then i can um talk about it otherwise that's it from me thank you so much for joining me if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you are new to this channel thank you so much for joining me if you are returning subscriber again thank you so much thank you for the support i truly appreciate guys thank you please like share and press the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed